All right, there's my office right there. My house. This is Rose's room. So usually I come here. It's a mess. This fucking room is a mess. Usually I come here and I just lay down again because I don't want to start my day. So I come here. This is like his room slash living room. We have a big TV here. We never watch. I don't know why we own a TV. His bed is a lot better though. His bed is like hearty. I love his bed. I think his bed is smaller and we barely sleep on it or he sleeps on it so he doesn't wait that much. So his bed is fucking new. So this is a day in the life of Johnny Castro, I guess. I mean, you gotta put a uniform on. I put a uniform on all the time. I don't have to, and they don't pay me extra. But I'm professional. I was a chef. We used to wear a uniform. It's like a, a professional thing to do, you know? So, brush your teeth, and then we're gonna start a commute. Oh, it's in the morning. This word. Give me a pep talk. You can do it. So, we're gonna commute. Here's where the commute starts. No oh, good. Here we go. So we go from here. We open this window. And then, oh, we're gonna turn on the light. Here it is. Here's the office. That's the commute. So this video is not being planned at all. This video is just to show you guys how my job is, my day to day is. I mean, it seems very positive to work from home, but it has its negative. It's a little depressing because I don't interact with anyone. I mean, I interact with people on the computer, but they're just pixels behind the screen. I'm never with anyone. So I'm always by myself. Like you guys saw, I just woke up, brushed my teeth, breakfast or coffee and then I turn on the computer and I'm here till five I have to go outside on my breaks and like just stand on the sun like a plant to not get depressed uh, typical day in TJ it rains a little bit and the whole city gets flooded and they close the schools here it's no joke like they close the schools here a lot for anything like, they're always just closing the schools so this job has allowed me to have row and they close the school and he doesn't go to school and he's running around here, you know, like playing around. I can feed him. I can hang out with him as I work. <laughs> right now he's with his mom. So, you know, I can probably get another job now because I kind of miss the kitchen. kind of miss action. I'm a, I'm a people person. I got to go there and talk shit, you know. That's, that's my love language, you know. If I talk shit to you, we're friends. Like, the worse, the better. But that's just me, and that's what, I don't know, my sense of humor here in Mexico is not the best. I feel like people think I'm weird. But then again, people thought I was weird up there. <sighs> I've noticed that a lot of people don't like English. Like, I want to, like, interact with people who speak Spanish and English. Like, that's my way of thinking, I guess. And, and yeah, if, if a lot of people just speak Spanish here, and you, like, ask them if they speak English, they kind of don't like that. They kind of think that you're thinking you're better than them, like you're stuck up, like, oh, this guy speaks English. Like, I don't want to hang out with him. He thinks he's better or something. I don't know. That's just the vibe I get. I've never been told that. It's just a feeling that, you know, if you're Mexican, you're in Mexico, speak Spanish, hang out with Mexicans. Like, yeah, that's just the vibe I've gotten 
from people. They just, if they don't speak English, they don't want anything to do with it. And it's kind of sad because there's those people here that do speak English perfectly and they're, they're, they've never even been to the States. They just live in TJ their whole time. So they're just fluent with the people around here speaking English. You know, it depends who you hang out with. Like, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are or some shit like that. This job is cool, has its perks, has dental and vision, medical expenses and all that. I feel like it's time for change with Lily dying, with me moving, with a lot of things happening. We're gonna take everything local. We're gonna focus on our stickers. All right, so I wanna take a moment for a shout out. For the viewer, one gutless monkey. He actually gave us this idea for this episode. One Godless Monkey is a viewer who asked me about my job and he actually asked or mentioned that I should do an episode about this and thanks to him we're doing this. So thanks man, I appreciate the idea. And here we are with my not very interesting life, but I open here and on one screen, I have a chat with my team and on the other screen I have the phone which is already, I'm already four minutes late. What's important here is that you have to stay professional. You have to wear a uniform. I gotta go get mine, you know, I'll be back. All right, so like I said, they don't pay me to wear a uniform, but I wear a uniform out of professionality and I am charming there most of the days. Most of the days, because sometimes I wake up in a shit mood and I don't even wanna work. But today we're charming there, so put our little hair like this and we focus. We have to stay focused in this job because this job is about... <laughs> One of the things about Mexico is that they have the best fucking bread ever. All the bread, it doesn't matter what you like. Their bread is just better here. Better here than then in the States, for sure. I don't know if that's a mental thing or what. Or they're adding like some fucking fentanyl to their bread. But that shit is fire and it's a big deal. Also, they say that the gate bread is way better than this bread, which I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I've never been to the gate, but we're about to find out pretty soon when we go to the gate. We're gonna start doing like English and Spanish videos or, or we're gonna start putting subtitles because that subtitle thing is a bitch. But I do it. I do it because I love to do it, you know? That's that's why. I don't do it for the views, because obviously my videos have like 100 views. But those 100 people that watched it, it means a lot, you know? It means a lot more than if it has thousands of views, because, like, who cares, really? Like, I know now that there's like, small group that they interact with my videos back and forth there's actually somebody behind the camera that i'm talking to you know it felt kind of empty obviously our first videos were like we tried very hard and then the video that i didn't try at all it was just raw it was a deportation video and do you recognize those people though do you recognize the photo okay Happy birthday to you. Oh, so my mouth just fucking hurts. I haven't taken medicine, talking. Oh, I remember when they took the tooth out. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? Of course, of course. Oh, by the way, my TL here. She's super cool. She's always like very understanding if you need to make a change or anything. This company, super cool. The company I work for in Mexico. You know, best people. All my teammates are super cool. Every time I go to site, people are like awesome there. So it's nine and I already wanna die. Cause yesterday I didn't take my fucking medicine. So I gotta take medicine right now real quick. My fucking mouth hurts and I keep talking. It's not helping. Not a good day today. Not a good day to be charming there. I'm actually gonna fucking probably take this off. Look out the window. Such a beautiful day. I'm trapped in here. 
All right, so at 9.45, around 10 a.m., I take my first break. I go outside, and I just, like, hang out in the sun like a little plant for a little bit because I start to get depressed if I don't go outside. True story. Like, not even kidding. Like, I get depressed if I don't go outside. That's why I love to go to the park, go to the beach, be in the water. Like, I need that. I need that sun. It's Papacito's birthday. Papacito. And Papacito is in the house. Hi. Say hi. Hi, Dada. Es plata? Es plata? Casco Guerrero, México. Oh, sí? Sí, patrón. No. Te lo puedo hacer para la mano, para el niño, para la jefa, para el pie, para lo, todo lo que guste. Y buen precio, la neta, la neta, que está bien, cabrón. A ver, vamos a ver. ¿eh? Vamos a ver una cadenita. ¿Cuáles cadenitas? Y aquí están. No sé si quiere para dama o para mi niña. No, oh, las hago pequeñitas. Right. Hey, no, we're gonna measure here. Look, I'm gonna buy you a chain. You like this chain? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get you a chain. We're here. Give me your hand. He's gonna make a bracelet too, okay? Yeah. And a chain. You're gonna get a bracelet and a chain. Ay, Taira. Nice Taika. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Vicente. ¿Y aquí te encuentran en, en Rosarito? Aquí ah, okay. trabajo en Rosarito. ¿Aquí en, el, en la arenita o por otro lado? Todo estás? el día en la playa. En la playa, en la playa, ah, sí, sí, sí. Me gustaban mucho las cadenas. Muchas gracias por okay. todo, eh. Órale, pues. <risa> which at first was a little annoying because everybody comes and offers you this, offers you that. But when you're in the mood for it, there's nothing better than people offering you services that you want, you know? Massage, shrimp, what? Go play? Okay, my turn. Trade tees. You know, I remember the very first video we did about Rosarito and that apartment and how it's like, it's a party town and it's not a, it's not a family oriented place and everything. You know, I was wrong. There's a lot of families in Rosarito. There's obviously a whole new world. There's a whole other world to what you just see on the outside. You know, if you just see a picture and you just look at the corner, you're not seeing the full picture. Rosarito, super nice. It's, I wouldn't say way nicer than TJ, but I would say it's for other people. TJ is perfect for a certain amount of people. Professionals, single people, you know, like, all kinds of people. Rosarito is more chill, you know, just more laid back. It's nice. This is as close as it gets to OB in my heart. Very hippie-ish, very laid back. Ensenada is a little more strict, but it's more beautiful, I feel. But it's different. Ensenada is like a port. This is a beach. I like that. I like that. And then baby Ro having fun at the beach. It's all worth it, you know, moving to Rosarito is a great move. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh. He just jumps around. <laughs> He's so fun. He's so fun to be around. How am I not going to miss this little kid? <laughs> We're gonna go together, you and me. Yes, please, you can get kicked. I love you. I just want you the best friend. Yeah, 
pull. Yeah, but you can tell him to go faster if you pull a little bit like this. Look, he's gonna go faster right now, watch. See, there we go, there we go. We can get him to run. Can you take it again? There you go, you have control. Yeah. Oh no, he hit. No, not yet, hold on. Okay. Where is that lotes? 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 Where is Pull. There you go. I mean, imagine how superior the Spaniards felt comparing to the Aztecs with a horse. It sounds silly, but it's true. A big ass animal in between your freaking legs, you're gonna think like you're. Yeah. You're gonna think you're a god, you know? This is what it means to be a dad. Um. You're gonna carry everything, you're gonna provide, and you do not have to complain. Oh no, more hats, I don't! Oh no, really? Oh my god, and I gotta pick up his hat too.